Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to Seven Past Air Preparation Day. <clears throat> Being thrifty over 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg. Hi, gang. Gee, guess where we've been, huh? <laughs> what's happening, everybody? How are you? We missed you guys. Yes, we did. It's been a while. No kidding. But hey, we're back. Yep. We're back and we're better than ever because we're know. less of our vacation. <laughs> yeah. And it was a fabulous vacation, which we will get into uh, shortly, but some of you know, uh, we came home on Sunday night, last Sunday night, and on Tuesday, we had 12 inches of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Mom went from 95 degrees to 12 inches of snow. And I'll tell you, gang, those of you who are experienced winter weather, during the day, we had the worst whiteouts I have ever, oh, nice, ever, ever driven in, Jace. It was so bad, honey. I mean, you know, I've had whiteouts before, but these just didn't let up, you know, where you eventually could kind of see a spot. It was terrible, and I was out driving in it like a fool. I'd gone to Jazzercise that morning, and they started after I got out. Awful, just awful. <laughs> Why does anyone live there? I know. And, of course, let's see. We can talk sports. Um, I can, should we talk about that Browns and Steelers That's game? Oh, man, you guys. Hi, yeah, yeah. What a mess that was. I mean, I'm gl so glad we won, but what an ending. Eight seconds left. We couldn't get through the darn game. And Ohio State won big. So they're on a roll. And my our, our hometown high school, Chardon High School, uh, they played the number two seed, and we're the number six seed. And the team we played had been unbeaten, and we beat them 35 to nothing. Woohoo! So our high school is on a roll. They're in the Elite Eight. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that's my sports update for this weekend, you guys. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's 83 in uh, Southern Cali. Oh, my goodness gracious. I know. Uh, oh, excuse me. I know. Bless you. <laughs> and Dad came home sick, and he had he got bronchitis after all that, and but he's he's starting to come out of it. He's been on. Yeah, he got me and Stacy sick, so thanks a lot, Dad. Oh, Stacy got it. Well, you know, a bunch of the people <laughs> from the cruise we all came home with colds. I think. Bummer, bummer. I'm, I'm almost good. I'm almost done. Stacy's about a day behind me. Is she? All right. Well, I hope yeah. she feels better soon. That's for sure. That's for sure. No fun. All right. Well, shall we talk about the cruise? So the cruise was uh, the second Secret Beach cruise. The Secret Beach is my other Facebook group. The, my main Facebook group is the 13 board. The Secret Beach is my other Facebook group. It is a, a mm -hmm. subscription-based Facebook group where we dive deeper into uh, subjects every month. And every month, members of the group get uh, a webinar from myself. They get a uh, webinar from a guest expert. We do fun things like cruises and tiki bar hangouts and uh, all kinds of fun stuff like that. Uh, for those of you who saw my tiki mug that I've had produced, the Secret Beach is getting their own glaze. So all Ooh. kinds of fun stuff. So this is our second cruise. Yes. And uh, well, what we fun. do, we spend uh, some days on the sea having fun and hidden ports, obviously, and also... Uh, classes so make it a work vacation and uh you know intersperse shenanigans with some uh learning but it's that <laughs> rare time where learning involves uh flip-flops and cocktails so yeah, absolutely so. it was it was a real win vacation for mom and dad i'll tell you <laughs> go 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, when, you're with you mother, no when you're with your mother it always is a go 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 isn't it honey <laughs> So Stacy says my voice is a little robotic. Anyone else hearing me robotic? Because okay, um, it doesn't sound like it on my own at at this point. Yeah, well, you're you're a little fuzzy. Let me let me look at the uh, yeah. fuzzy. Now that I right. on the other I'm, I'm switching Wi-Fi. So disappear for a quick second. Okay. And I know I haven't been drinking that much that I look that blurry. <laughs> All right. I switched Wi-Fi. It was weird. I didn't drop out in the switch over the Wi-Fi. Huh. So that was weird. Very. Uh, all right. So am I still robotic, honey? Yeah. Peg is still blurry. I can see it, Jason. Yeah. I'm as clear as a bell on the computer, but when I look on the... Uh, right, yeah. yeah, you're blurry. Uh, on my monitor. Um, <sighs> what do you want me to do? Anything? Yeah, why don't you leave and come back? All right. Okay. Bye, guys. All right. 
So I do sound better. Hey, everybody, what's going on? So we'll get mom, uh, we'll kick mom to the curb for a quick second. And uh, whoops, there we go. So uh, this cruise, we left out of Long Beach and we headed down the Mexican Riviera, which included Cabo, uh, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. And uh, mom's back. Okay, I'm Hi, here. Hi. Yep. That work? And for, uh, for a while, anyways, I suppose, huh? Yeah. And oddly enough, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, one week earlier, mom and Stacy and uh, dad and I were on the exact same cruise. I know. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Did it happen that way? All, almost to the day. It was one week almost. later. Almost. I mean, that's just, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so the first day, uh, the first day we had classes was, so we, we left on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the first day we had classes and uh, I taught a uh, webinar. Well, it wouldn't be a webinar, it'd be a class on yeah. flipping prints CDs. So if you're not in the Seeker Beach, nor were you on the cruise, give you a little highlight of that webinar. Mm -hmm. uh, this doesn't look like much, but this is the Black Album by Prince. And this was an album that he finished for Warner Brothers. And then he felt that the album was evil. And so he didn't want to release it. So it got shelved for a while. Then it got released and then it got pulled and then it got released again. And then it got pulled again. So uh, if you do find Prince, the black album, just a regular old used version, you're looking at about uh, $30. Now there's no markings on it. So you're going to have to look into it. Uh, but if you're in the Prince section and you see an all black CD, that would be the black album. And then Vanity Six was one of Prince's protégés. Uh, her albums, uh, well, their albums, since there was three of them, uh, self-titled, has been out of print for a long, long time. And as you can see, it will get you uh, around 50 bucks. So uh, that is part of the Prince webinar. And it was really good, Jason. Your dad, he, his dad was impressed. You know, he said, well, boy, I didn't know all that stuff about Prince. So, you know, when, you're, when your dad speaks up, he, he was interested. <laughs> Yes, yes, Dave, not to be confused with Metallica's Black Album or Spinal Tap's uh, Black Album, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and then Debbie Weeder gave her book bolo speech. Yes, she did, and excellent as always, that's for sure. Yeah, and what uh, what Deb featured in, uh, just, you know, she, she had a lot, but these were a couple of the main ones. Uh, Betty Crocker cookbooks always sell well. Um, some of you know I, I've sold a number of them myself. And they always bring big money. So when you're out thrifting everybody, don't pass up the Betty Crocker ones. Because as you can see, look at the money that was uh, made here. 48.75 on the 1973 and 66.60 for the 1950 edition. I still have mine from 1964. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> I still use it, though. <laughs> I still use recipes out of that cookbook. So mine, mine's, what, 55 years old now? Yike. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Yep. Oh, my. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And then the other thing uh, Deb was talking to us about uh, was the uh, Hallmark pop-up books the night before Christmas. Look at the nice return on that little devil. Um, so keep your eyes out for that one, everyone, because uh, especially right now, my gosh, if any of you have it in your uh, profit piles, dig it out and get it listed as soon as you can, because uh, 4750 is nothing to sneeze at. That's for sure. And that's you're looking right. for the one that has that tie in the middle. That's the extra special oh, one. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's correct. So that's that's pretty cool. And uh, we also did, uh, during the first day, we did, uh, uh, Debbie and Stephanie got a nice icebreaker together for us. They printed out bingo cards. Yeah. And we had to find uh, the people that would match up to the bingo cards. And the first one to uh, get bingo uh, won a cocktail. And then I asked uh, Alan Cohen, who was on the cruise, I said, hey, because he had just found a huge collection of uh, like vacation slides from the 1960s. And this person, uh, whose ever slides they were originally, uh, traveled the world. And we maybe thought maybe a uh, flight attendant, maybe, uh, because had things everywhere from Disneyland to uh to uh, Germany, to England, to yeah. Italy, just all over the world. And, and they were all dated. And where they were was written on every slide. It was like the greatest collection of slides to find out. Slides are something you can sell if the right images are in there. 
And if you've not looked at slides before, it is something that is flippable for the right stuff. For instance, here is uh, the Lenin Mausoleum in 1964 in the Red Square in Moscow, people waiting in line to go pay respect. So that's a pretty bitchin' image right there. It sure is. That's seven days before Dad and I got married. Oh, wow. Yep, same year too, Jay. And then uh, if something doesn't exist anymore uh, on a slide, yeah, so this big tree that used to be able to drive through in California up in the Redwoods, uh, it fell down, and so it doesn't exist anymore. So here is, what is this, a Caddy, a Chevy? What is this? It looks like a Chevy to Mom. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's a Chevy. Could be a Ford. Can't so, see you know, the one thing that slides won't bring you money is if someone took a picture of the White House or the uh, Grand Canyon, they look the same. However, right. if someone took a picture of the White House with a bunch of cars parked in front of it in 1960, that's what will sell it. Uh, right. and same with this driving through this tree. This tree does not exist anymore. So uh, these are the kind of things that will uh, garner you some money. So he did a nice uh, slideshow. And it's, it's great to see old slides, to right. see uh, things. And, and the one that he shared in the Secret Beach was a picture of the flower market in Disneyland. So there was a point in Disneyland mm -hmm. where you would buy flowers and just drag them around all day. I'm like, what? That doesn't make any I know. sense to me. I know. You know, a quick little story. I went to lunch with some of my jazzercise friends the other day, and this gal who's 88 years old, she was telling me how she just took all of her slides and put them on, a, you know, her computer or a disc or something. And I said, well, what would you do with the slides? She said, I threw them away. I said, oh, my God. Uh, oh. And, they, and hers date back to the 40s and 50s and 60s, Jason. And, and they traveled quite a bit. So who knows? I said, oh, I think you just threw away a gold mine. And she got, she got sick. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. Don't throw away those old slides. If, like I say, what what Jason said about if you've got some good old cars and things that have changed since then. So that was the end of day one, and then the beginning of day two was mom. Yeah, I gave a talk on the the top four brands of, of women's clothing uh, to be on the lookout for when you're out doing your thrifting. You know, clothing always sells everybody, as we know, and especially ladies' clothing. Uh, we, I think we, a lot of us that do clothing do very well with clothing. Easy to ship. Easy to a store, you know, the whole nine yards. And that's my new, that's going to be my New Year's resolution, Jason. I think I'm going to have to back off the big stuff and go into the into the women's clothing. So one of the items uh, that I told everybody to be on the lookout for in the St. John collection, a lot of us uh, hear St. John's Bay. That's the very cheap end. You don't buy that, that brand. That just doesn't give you the return. But here's a gorgeous uh, two-piece suit uh, in yellow and black. Um, that I have, it was not mine, but it was one I found, you know, when I was doing my research, re uh, research. and as you can see, that sold for $200. So St. John, St. John Collection, uh, St. John Couture also, you know, those are a couple of names you want to be aware of. And Jams World, I have a lot of Jams World that I own personally. Uh, this is a great uh, tie-dye dress, and that was a pretty good return for them. I usually pick, when I do find the Jams World, which isn't very often, they are hard to come by, more time, more now at garage sales, Jason, than in the thrift stores. I think the thrift stores have gotten a little bit uh, smart in regards to Jams World, but I can usually pick them up for a couple of bucks. So uh, as you can see, that dress sold for thirty nine ninety nine. So Jams World, everybody, don't pass them up. Made in Hawaii. And then my dad uh, gave a presentation, even though he had never seen his presentation. <laughs> so, so mom created his presentation. And I said, all right, everybody, now it's time for Big Daddy shipping tips. And he's like, well, I've never seen the presentation. So here I go. But basically, it was, you know, if you watch the show a couple of times, you know, my dad and my mom like to sell big stuff. And so my dad, my mom put together a bunch of pictures of all the big stuff that they have shipped. This was a... Uh, Santa Claus blow mold that they mm -hmm. recently shipped and dad just kind of, uh, it was dad's first presentation at one of my uh, classes and dad just, uh, basically described how he shipped big things, you know, recrafting boxes, Franken box and mm -hmm. using pool noodles, using cardboard. Some things don't need boxes, you know, so he went through that. For instance, here are some water skis he has shipped. No box needed. Just, uh, wrapped them up mm -hmm. with the heavy duty cellophane. So they stayed together, taped them off. Slap the label right on top, and away it went. You know, it's um, when I see a lot of posts in the thrifting board, it's amazing how many people do not watch our YouTube shows because the questions I see are all the things we have talked about. Oh, I know. I know. You know, whether it's on your, your show from Thursday or our show from t on Sundays, I just want to say, don't you watch? Because there's so much good information for everybody. Yeah, I know. 
you know but we, we, we can only we can only put it out there we can't we can't hold your hand <laughs> right <laughs> that's true lead a horse to water yep. all right then uh stephanie gave her presentation on bread and butter items meaning things that she finds pretty much all the time in every thrift store and yeah. uh here's a couple highlights from that yeah uh denim skirts uh, and i know we've all heard a lot about them you know from jeans with joy and uh they always sell you guys. I mean, there's good money in denim skirts. I would say don't pass those up too too often because, you know, whether they're the tulip shape or flare or straight, they all seem to sell. Denim's always popular. It's always been popular and continues to be popular. I mean, I kind of wore it in the 50s, so, you know, a little different then when we had the big roll up cuffs on our jeans. <laughs> but uh, don't pass up a denim, 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 denim. I mean, Joy, you know, always highlights someone that has sold well good money in that in that so don't pass up denim jeans now this was the next picture we're going to show you this one really surprised me i had no clue that butter dishes bring you such good money i know that that, that. thank you stephanie that was a great bolo from her uh, to be on the lookout for um you can see you know you, you probably at garage sales butter dishes you probably can pick them up pretty cheap i'm sure for a quarter jay <laughs> oh i i am sure for a quarter Mom. I'm sure for a quarter and you know if you can get a return here you got 20 bucks 40 bucks 40 bucks 35 i mean that's a heck of a return so i am definitely going to be looking for those from now on and then my wife uh <laughs> gave a speech at, at the thrift class on steroids here in vegas following ebay open and gave it uh, again on the cruise ship how to get your significant other involved in terms of if you have a significant other or a partner or uh you know a roommate or a spouse or a life partner that isn't into thrifting uh stacy never was she's gotten pretty good at it nowadays uh but if you have that person in your life that isn't stacy uh, gave a, a presentation on how to get that person involved and We've gotten feedback from both times from people who aren't normally part of the thrifting part of their significant other's life that they were like, I'm kind of excited to do this now. So uh, Stacy's actually giving that speech as the guest expert in Secret Beach this week. Yeah, uh, that'd be good. Yeah, this week. Plus, Stacy's day job is a stockbroker, so she's going to talk about making sure you invest in yourself and give you some tips and tricks to make sure that when you get to the end, you're not like, uh-oh, where's all my money? Right. You know, we uh, had one couple on with us, Jason, in the uh, uh, on the cruise. I think it was Denise and her husband who's yep. not real involved. And uh, dad talked to him for quite a while. And, and I talked to him also. And he said, OK, uh, I got the bug. I'm, I'm starting to get more into it. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think after what Stacy said and all of us talking a little bit to him, I think he will definitely get more involved uh, with the with Denise. That's one of the things that Stacy talked about is negotiating amount of time. So mm -hmm. if you're if you are the thrifter and you're getting your other your other half involved, don't spend six hours. Figure out what where that cutoff is before they lose their mind and stick to that. You got to baby step them in. That's for sure. Now this this is this was great. Debbie gave us a little presentation on on making up the the, the, the journals that you could do right on Amazon and. You don't have to have any product at, at home. You just have to be crafty, I guess. I don't know if that's the correct word or not. But, you know, uh, De Deb has a couple of different journals for sale having to do when you watch our shows. Uh, Jason, you have a picture of the one that she's made up for the thrifting board? Uh, or not? I don't. I need. Uh, I, Debbie, remind me to order them, would you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need yeah. to have them here. I don't even have them here. Yeah, I, I haven't ordered them yet. Well, you know what? I got to order some. That, that would be a great giveaway to give away at, at uh, some of oh, my. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to have to order some. Anyways, Deb has made up this fabulous journal. Uh, you know, like when you're watching uh, our show or, or or Jason's show on Thursdays, uh, to take notes. Uh, you know, so you've got everything right there. But sometimes I know people don't know where to look or where to go back to on which show that you you saw us talk about a certain item. So uh, without any investment, hardly you can put these together and make money without having to, anything stopped at your house at all. That's pretty cool. All right, Debbie's putting the links in the show comments. Oh, good. Thanks, Deb. And then I finished out with a, a presentation that you're all going to be able to see in about a week. So I'm doing a webinar for everybody who wants to uh, sign up for it a week from Tuesday. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to have a different title than this, but it's going to be the same webinar, how to make some, some quick cash legally. So what, what was the impetus of this webinar was, um, when the government shut down, we started to put together uh, a web class on, you know, uh, uh, where's the $3,100 worth of stuff around your house that you aren't using that you could sell right now? Now, the government came back uh, 
uh, out of that furlough quick enough that uh, there was no need for it. But I'd already kind of finished the webinar. And so uh, we're going to do it a week from Tuesday. There will be a sign up uh, in the thrifting board and the secret beach and everywhere. Uh, but it's going to be the the 50 unused items around your house that are worth about $3,100. Now, I went around my house and I found out my items are worth about $2,600. So I, I did this list and then I went around my house. Okay, from this list, what do I got? And I, I found the majority of the things and I'm like, yep, I got that. I got that and added up real quick worth about $2,600. So going to be giving that a week from Tuesday. So stay tuned for that sign up. Uh, and so then you'll learn all about that. Mom was going through her t-shirts today. I, I got so many to sell and I got some good ones. There's some good tiki ones and what have you that have been sitting in the cupboard forever. So I already got some stuff to get going. <laughs> all right. So, um, oh yeah. All right. So, uh, let's do your photos and then I'm going to have you reboot your computer because right. it's Okay. It's gonna look like so. Oh, let's yeah. do your photo first. All let's right, your... I'll close out and come back, guys. Sorry. Nope, nope. Let's do your photos first. Oh, my photos first. Okay, sorry. Yes. Oh, and then yeah. when I'm doing mine, you can reboot right. your computer. All right, good. Now, see, the photos aren't blurry. I know it's just you, ma. Why is why does it do that? Because you have bad internet, ma. <laughs> the internet would do that. Yeah, that... you don't. You don't no. have good internet. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, everybody. That's all right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So um, because we took the same cruise 20 years ago, we, we said we had to stay in the stand in the same order uh, that we have. In fact, almost here. Here, Jason. Oop, there we go. Here's uh, here's from 20 years ago. Ah, oh, Stacy, you should have been on the other side of me. Dang it. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we did, forgot to take a picture of it. We were going to, and we didn't. So that's us 20 years ago, exactly to the same month. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then uh, we, we stopped at Trader Sam's, got Got my tiki mug I'm drinking out of here tonight. Uh, was it the Tangaroa Tangaroa cooler? Yep. And uh, Dad's never been, so that was really fun for Dad because uh, uh, you know to see all the action go on when you order certain kinds of drinks. You know the volcano goes off and the rain comes down and you get all wet and the ship you, no, you gotta tell people where this is at because you just said it like everyone knows oh, what this oh, is. Yes, I'm sorry. Trader Sam's is at Disneyland and Disney World, and we were in Disneyland. And is a tiki bar. It is a tiki bar. I'm sorry, gang. I don't take it for granted. So sorry. And uh, so I was glad that dad was able to uh, to see it because it's so much fun inside. And there was a few of us that had, you know met up and uh, we all went in together to have our cocktails. So that was yeah, cool. a little pregame before we got on the boat. Oh, yeah. And then this was our stop in Puerto Vallarta. And they had just celebrated. Was it the Day of the Dead, Jason? Yep, yep. Yeah. The Day of the yep, Dead. Day of the Muertos. So, yeah. So we got to see all the different skeletons that they had uh uh, decorated uh, throughout the the old cobblestone street. That was really cool. I really liked that. So, uh, yeah. And there's Jason and Stacy in front of one. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Again, yeah, guys, we see all their art. Then we stopped at Cabo Wabo. Uh, that's on uh, Cabo San Lucas, and uh, that uh, we all know whose bar that is. I think Jason's mentioned it enough, but it is Sammy Hagar's ba uh, bar. And uh, had our margaritas. It was two for one. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm a two fist in it. Look out. <laughs> And then the, this is uh, one of our dress-up nights on the ship. And I just love Stacy and Jason's outfits. That, that shirt is just gorgeous, Jason. Stacy's dress was beautiful. So that yeah, was I found that Ralph Lauren shirt right before we left. I'm like, oh, that's perfect for a cruise. Oh yeah, that was so good. And and dress uh, Stacy's dress kind of sparkled in it. And there's Bill and Deb Weeder, and uh, we sat with them a good time. Uh, uh, a lot of, of our dinners were all together on the ship, and uh, they look great in their outfits as well. So that was cool. Okay, a little, little quick history on this one. Uh, this is in uh, Puerto Vallarta also, and that is Ms. Maloya's Beach. And that's where we were 20 years ago, the four of us, and uh, up going up the, the mountains in that, well, I guess where all those trees are, were these little shack of uh, restaurants where they cooked your food right on a little wood burning fire on the ground in the dirt, you guys. We had the best prawns I've ever had in my life. But also up in that beach area, we did some snorkeling, and then they used to have the uh, the house where they filmed the movie, The Night of the Iguana. However, nobody's kept it up and it's all, I guess, just in shreds. We saw the sign and the sign was so dilapidated and I, that kind of hurt my heart a little bit. I said, oh, nobody wanted to keep that up. But it's a beautiful area, as you can see. If, so if you're ever going uh, to Puerto Vallarta, that's a beautiful spot to stop by. So we hey, what, uh, what cruise ship are we on? Uh, Carnival, uh, Miracle. Oh, that one right there? 
Oh, how'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I love yeah. that. I tell you what you guys can do. And then we stopped at a uh, tequila tasting uh, spot, which was delicious. Oh, my God. The tequilas were so good. Some taste like eggnog and hibiscus and uh, what were some of the other flavors, Jason? They were Chocolate so unique. And... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They were good. I mean, I had to. We only get in a little bit, but after you taste about 10 of them, you're, <laughs> you're feeling yeah. no pain. <laughs> yeah, we got like half a shot, but half a shot of every single bottle you see on that barrel. Right, so, right. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, you want some more? I'm like, holy moly. Yeah, and we kind of learned a little history about how, you know, how they make the tequila. That was cool. And uh, yeah, this is about a few of us getting together. Uh, well, well, actually, we got a free cocktail party on the ship. Uh, so we all got together and... Uh, I was trying to get some pictures of everyone uh, that was at the party that night. In fact, we all showed up, I believe. I don't think anybody was sick then, were they? <laughs> Look at your outfits. I love those t-shirts you guys had on. That was so cool. So cool. I think that might be Maria in the background there, Jace. It looked like yep. her. All right. Um, Actually, cool. you look okay yeah, right now. Cool. Hang on a second. I think that's you, honey. Uh, it is me. I'm trying to see you. Yeah, why don't you uh, reboot your computer? Okay, I'll reboot and come back. Okay. And I'll do mine. All right. Okay. Bye. See you in a few seconds. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here was uh, sunset uh, from our. We had a we had a uh, balcony, <laughs> and I, I try to grab a picture of the sunset every night. Plus, I have the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I was playing with my different three cameras, check out all the different settings for the sunsets. And so, a uh, funny story: when we got on the boat, they didn't have any record of us coming on the boat to teach these classes. And my our cruise director, our cruise, director, our cruise uh, travel agent had booked uh, paid for the room, booked the room. And so when I said, "Hey, uh, reboot your computer," oh, oh, you want me to reboot the computer? Totally. Yes. Oh Lord. Okay. Yes. Bye. Okay. Like, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm like that was too quick. <laughs> Uh, so the room that we were supposed to be in that they booked that my paperwork said, here, you have the, uh, city, uh, scape room on Sunday and Thursday. That's where all the art was for the art auction. So on Saturday I said, so is that art going to be out of there by Sunday morning? And they said, no. I said, well, I need some place to hold my class. So the uh, comedy club was empty. So we got to do it in the comedy club. So although it was a little bit of a headache, it was quite fun to be on a giant stage with the built in. Uh, projector and monitor and stuff and everyone's just sitting in the comedy club so uh that was quite fun and here was the uh the entire crew that day stacy's the only one missing she's taking the picture <clears throat> so it's fun to have the whole comedy club to ourselves and uh there i am and it kind of spoiled me having that big stage and i got to plug in where i didn't have to run into the actual uh, projector, you know, it, it, it being, being a production area, I just plugged in right next to me and then it ran to the projector. So that was uh, quite badass. There was a drum kit back there. I was thinking about sitting behind the screen and doing rim shots for uh, Debbie's presentation, but I decided if someone important walked in, we'd probably get yelled at. So I passed on that. Uh, little cocktails on our uh, veranda uh, as we were uh, off uh, after this is after class. I think we went up to our. Uh, our deck and had some cocktails fun and shenanigans with the phone and this is the day we ended up in cabo we hiked up to uh i don't when i was there 20 years ago i don't remember cabo wabo being so far from the port now uh where you get let off at because cabo is so small the boat can't come into port the boat uh docks out and then you you tender in and man it's a heck of a walk up to cabo wabo but uh, we we hiked up there and had many good margaritas. There's Debbie and Bill and mom and dad and Stacy and Alan. And then <laughs> this was the end of that day. Yeah, this was the end of that day. We are back towards the boat. And I think the girls went to the bathroom and uh, Bill and I were sitting on swings, drinking Fat Tuesday margaritas, not giving an F about anything, just enjoying life. So uh, that was uh tons of fun you know if you've never sat at a bar in a swing you haven't lived because sitting at a bar in a swing is a, a whole different experience the next day we uh went uh, the majority of us went to a uh beach party in mazalan and uh let me get that little graphic up there beach party Woo! 
And so we had both a beach and a pool with a swim up bar. So again, if you've never been in a pool, a swim up bar, you're not living because that's a lot of fun to be able to just sit at the bar and get a cocktail. And uh, so a bunch of us were hanging out, enjoying both the ocean and the pool. Uh, another great sunset as we were leaving Mazatlan. And uh, this is in Puerto Vallarta. They got a lot of cool artwork all around Puerto Vallarta. If you don't notice me in the left picture, here's a little bit of a close-up. Hi, Mom. Hey, Beck. All right. You, you missed it. Uh, I did uh, uh, when I showed the beach party. Oh. I had this fun little graphic. Beach party. Oh, how cool. I love it. <laughs> Uh, so more more art we were playing with. Stacy's rowing her boat. Debbie's playing the weird harp thingy. And then we even got Stacy to climb this ladder. So fun and shenanigans in Puerto Vallarta. Oh, and then yeah. we rented uh, we rented a van and he uh, a private van basically. And he took us all around the island. And we ended up having lunch in the rainforest at this place. So this was our view from lunch. Uh, big river coming by. And those lines you see across are uh, zip lines. And so we were having lunch and uh, people were zipping by. And if you can see, that's a dude standing on that rock and he was doing some cliff diving. Now, usually cliff diving just straight down. He had to run off that rock and dive into the water. It was quite amazing. Right. It was amazing. Totally. Mom and dad ordered the plate for two, which was really about a plate for seven. <laughs> and so they had to get, they had to start passing out seafood because there was just too much food there. Right. And because we were in the rainforest, it lived up to its name. Look how big the raindrops are. It, it was amazing. I mean, it poured. But the it good became, thing. Yeah, it became a torrential downpour. But the good thing about that was going down the mountain, then we saw the most gorgeous waterfalls all over. It was breathtaking, just breathtaking. So there's the uh, river that I showed you a few pictures ago, which was nice and clear. Now it's all muddy <laughs> and it's just poured and poured and poured yeah it was it was fun and then here we are uh at the tequila tasting so i got this little funness right there oh look at that oh my goodness gracious it is so <laughs> cool yeah so a bunch of us end up grabbing some tequila to take home i i wanted to and the tequila was so good i'm glad we stopped there because mm -hmm. uh that's i was i was planning on bringing home some good tequila yeah that was good and then the second day of classes, uh, we couldn't be in the comedy club because th there was a new entertainment crew coming on and they needed it for rehearsal. So they put us in a, a, a bar. So we sat in the Red Frog pub from uh, 9 a.m. till noon. There's dad giving his presentation. There's Stacy giving hers. And then, of course, uh, we had two days at sea. So the first day we played dice for like three and a half hours. I'm getting a picture of that. <laughs> the, sec the second day we played uh, Mexican Train, which is basically a form of dominoes. And uh, man, just to, to sit out back on a cruise ship playing mm -hmm. dominoes with your best friends, drinking rum, it just yeah. there's nothing better, really. Oh, I know. I mean, th th I, I think I enjoyed that part. This was the all adult section on the ship uh, called Serenity. And it was just so nice to have that peace and quiet and just relax. And dad and I played some cards, and you know, it was just great, so enjoyable. Yeah, Ginny, I think they do limit the bottles of the tequila each person can bring back. We had, uh, well, I don't know. They didn't even ask us any questions because we brought back three bottles of tequila and three bottles of rum. So no one bugged us. Yeah. So I don't even know. And then this was, uh, like I said, because we we booked as a group, we also had a free hour cocktail party. Mm -hmm. So this was the last night uh, having cocktails uh, in a corner of a bar all to ourselves. So that was a lot of fun. And I gave Stacy the camera. And so instead of taking pictures of the crew, she took pictures of herself. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the Secret Beach Cruise. So we're not, we're not going to do one in 2020, but we are going to do one in 2021. So, right. uh, and, and we usually, if we have a few slots left, like we did, we, we oops, whoop, 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 careful. Like we've had multiple times, we do open it up to the thrifting board too. Uh, but if you want to make sure you want to go, uh, make sure to join the Secret Beach when I open it in a little over a week. All right. You know, and, and, and just one more note on that, too. I mean, yes, the cruise is a blast, but we had some great teaching sessions uh, for everyone. And I think that was a, a plus. You know, I mean, yes, we, we're all having a ball and a good time. But, you know, it's nice of Jason to pull this together and organize uh, the seminars that we, you know, that we give. And uh, it, it, it just everybody, even me, mom's learning all the time. So 
those were great, Jason. So thanks again, Andy, for all your hard work. Oh, you're welcome, huh? Yep. All right. So this Thursday, we were supposed to have our first panel show, but two thirds of my panel couldn't make it. So oh. <laughs> I'm like, well, don't want to do the panel show. So <laughs> we're going to move that to a little bit later date. But uh, we had waiting in the wings, the Platinum Shine Award winner, uh, um, uh, Elijah. Elijah uh, sells bicycles and gives a ton away to people wow. who can't afford bicycles. So we're going to talk with him and uh, see how his life has been affected since winning the eBay Shine Award. Cool. All right. Each cool. week we we share uh, cute and or embarrassing photos of me and my mom. This week uh, is That's My Mama. All right, folks. This one here is exactly four, let's see, 49 49 years ago, I had to think about it, Jace. 49 years ago. Um, this is my baby shower. I am pregnant with you in that picture. This is in November. And I had to show that fabulous seat. <laughs> they were called baby carriers back in the day. This is what I, put, you know, Jason went in and it would sit on the front seat of the car. Of course, there were no seat belts then, you guys, that he was <laughs> propped on the front seat of the car. And of course, the old uh, safety uh, seat when, when I came to a stop, you know, the old arm goes out, you know, straight across. And that's how you would hold your children in place and staring back at the time. And yes, Jason, Jason was just a small baby. He only weighed seven pounds, two ounces when he was born. But I thought everybody might enjoy uh, seeing the baby carriers back in the day. So. All right. So baby. I didn't do a, a baby picture, but I did a pretty young picture for Mama's Boy. I did a four-year-old picture oh, to boy. show I was a normal-sized kid for a smidge. And then I grew. Uh, and, and, and I wanted to show how much hair I used to have. So yeah, there is no more hair on the top of my head. No, nope. man. Nope. I have a lot of hair. Oh, you're sleeping in a sleeping bag. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I was mixing some plaids there between my uh, yeah, robe yeah. and my sleeping bag, but <laughs> I, was, I was four years old and, uh, just being a dorky kid. He's had a ton of hair, a ton of hair when he was little. Just, it just blows mom's mind and thick like mom's. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty. Well, that's why I put this picture. I mean, look how much hair is on the on the right side Ooh. of my head. Yeah, Holy crap. I know. <laughs> uh, all, right. all right, let's see your scores. Four time. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, somebody might remember we picked this up at a at a bright sale, and uh, that was a vintage uh, GE hair dryer. Everybody it was in good shape too. Really good shape. Worked and everything. Um, and back, mom used to use those one of those back in the day. Paid two bucks for that, you guys, and uh, I, I took a best offer of twenty five on that. Yoo okay, this is a World's Fair tray. It, was, it wasn't that big, as you can see. It's only it was a five by seven quarter quarter. Jason, twenty five cents. Mom paid for this, and I sold it for the full asking price of the twenty two ninety five. I, you know, I just you know, just one of those things that you see and you said, oh yeah, that that might be a winner. And, uh, and it was for, for a quarter and nice return. And it wasn't real big, but World's Fair dated, you know, so I think that uh, that that sold it. Um, I always pick these up, you guys. You know, this is a lot of mid-century modern stuff. Um, this is a Homeco Sirocco Dart Company. And they're, they're usually stamped with that on the back um, of these wall hangings. And this was the fruit combo that I paid $2 for and did sell it for the full asking price of $33.95. So that was a real nice return. Yeah, and I just don't, I just don't pass those up. Now, <laughs> I don't know what happened here, Jay. Why my Japan was so appetizing to someone, uh, but this sold for full asking price of forty nine dollars. Paid two bucks for it. I don't know because because it was Japan. Well, I, I was gonna say. I was going to give you grief and be like, well, why is this your first picture? Because this ain't good. Then I'm like, oh, there's nothing else other than the No, no. There was nothing exciting. Nothing. No. It was a long sleeve black t-shirt. And I mean, I haven't gotten $49 for Harley in ages. Wow. In ages. So I, I don't know. Maybe because it was Japan, folks. I really don't know. Blew my mind. Okay. All right. Uh, I almost kind of hated to part with this one. This oh, was a oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this was a beauty, you guys. This is a, a Beko, B E C O, uh Santa uh, Low Mole. It's, it's an older one um that I did pay $5 for but sold it for full price of 69.99. Kind of kind of hurt me a little on that one to let it go. <laughs> but uh, it it was a beauty. Uh, in fact, I hung it last year in the house. 
Yeah. Um, this just sold. I picked this up at a garage sale this past summer uh, for three dollars. And it is a uh, what was good about this one because it didn't have any specific Browns name on it other than the dog pound, which is always there. You know, it wasn't a specific player. So I thought, well, I'll do that. It was a two X. So, you know, it had everything kind of going for me. And I did sell it uh, for best offer of 30 bucks. On that. Very nice. Yeah. And another blow mold. This was a witch one. And I'll tell you, Jason, she wasn't in the best of shape. You know, I mean, a lot of paint had worn off on her. Uh, I picked her up for five bucks and I sold her for $45 and 73 cents. <laughs> did this sell after Halloween? Yes, it did. Yes, right. it did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and this sold uh, after Halloween because I shipped this after we came back. This was an Avon product, you know, which I don't normally pick up, but it was so darn cute. And I paid three dollars for this um, and it, it was movable and the train moved and I never did take a video. So don't yell. <laughs> but I sold it for full asking price of twenty four ninety five. So Lady Justice wants to know if the Harley shirt went to Japan. And yes, it did. I'm so, yes, thank you for asking because, yes, it did go to Japan. So I guess that's why they paid the full price. Maybe we just don't see many Japan uh, Harley wow. Davidson shirts. So maybe that's a good bolo because I got such good money. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a nice pendulum jacket I picked up at a garage sale, everybody, for $3 and sold that for the $34.95. So that was, that was nice. Yeah, it was a good looking one. It was cute. Yeah, it's a nice jacket. Yeah, very pretty. Okay. I, I, I threw this in. I always, I, when I sell something, you know, uh, pertaining to uh, music, uh, this was, I put these cassettes together. Of course, Jason helped me, uh, you know, put the what, hard rock together and some other ones. And this was a lot of 13 cassettes that I averaged out. I probably paid two bucks for that whole batch and sold it for the full asking price of twenty nine ninety five. And these did go overseas as well, Jason. I think they went to Germany. Oh, cool. You're right. You're right. They like the stuff over there. You know? Oh, yeah. I know. And that oh, yeah. really crazy. I know. And... Dad picked, Dad picked this up at a, a garage sale. I didn't have, have a clue, but he liked it, and it was still in the original box. And it's a carom board, which I don't think I ever played with as, as a youngster. And we did pay $5 for it, and we took a best offer of $45 on that. Well, crap. I got to get mine listed. I got one in my storage unit I've had for five yeah. years. <laughs> in the box. In, in the, the box. box. All the pieces. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get it up there, honey. Get I it up pay there. like seven bucks at a thrift store. Yeah. All right, now I have to. We're going to go back to music, I believe, on the next one again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not a huge return, but they were twenty-five cents each, so I paid seventy-five cents for the three and uh, sold them uh, for a, a best offer, Jason, of fifteen on those. Nice. Yeah. So you know, they're eight tracks. You can't test them. You know, we've talked about that before, everybody. Now, this is the one that's going to blow you away, and I, I blew this. I'm so mad at myself, Jason. Mommy made a big boo boo. I started my sale. And I had forgotten I just had listed this. Well, it sold in five minutes. You know, so I bought, but I bought it at a garage sale. I paid 25 cents for it. And I I, I had oh, it for $89. But of course the sale popped in and I forgot to pull it out. And um, and I still got 62.30 for the, for that mug. There's there must be something about this mug, everybody, um, because they have all sold for big, big money, Jason. It's called, it's the Icon Series, and Cleveland brings big money. I mean, one sold for 89 one sold for 70 something um, So you be on the lookout for that, everyone, because that one seems to sell well. I, I don't know why. Uh, you know, I just don't know what the collectors are looking for. But, you know, I almost didn't take it because we knew Starbucks wasn't selling so, so well anymore. But I said, well, let's look it up. Well, well, I looked it up when we were at the sale, and oh, my goodness. I said, well, we better take this one. So, oh, my goodness. I know for a quarter. Oh, so Cleveland's okay. hot in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Can you believe that? That Cleveland is hot in the Starbucks world. That's that, crazy. That, yeah, that blows my mind. All right, we got a few things to show you. That's why you have a cocktail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing of it is, you know, my garage sales are done, you guys. Oh, boy. So they're, Party's I'm, over. Yeah, I won't have as exciting things to show you, but I got some, some interesting things. Um, so we'll start with this, uh, Jason. There's a 1984 Hawaiian uh, calendar, and it's really got some beautiful pictures in here. I mean, even if they didn't keep the, the calendar together, you know, these are, are beautiful pictures just to photograph, which I have done with some of my things over the years. Uh, but but if I was to, I picked it up for a quarter. You know, I'm not going to pass up anything Hawaiian. 
this is a James Cook Memorial. Um, and I, I probably could get 10 or 12 bucks out of this, guys. Not, not a huge return, but, you know, there was this and there was this. Maybe I'll put them together. Here's another beautiful book on Hawaii. And I paid, wait a minute, I wrote this one down. I paid 50 cents for this, and these will sell between 15 and 20. But maybe, I mean, would you put them together, Jay? Um, uh, what was the second one? What was the year? <coughs> 84 and 91. Excuse me. All right, so 84. <laughs> can be used again in 2040. <laughs> so that's a way off. Is that what it is? <laughs> and 91 can be used. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. So pretty. 91 is actually this year. It's the same oh. calendar as this year. And then that can be used again in 2030. So since they're way far off, I yeah, I'd say put them together. Okay, I will. I will. Okay. Order item. Um, this is a, I almost passed her up, but she, she looks old to me because of her face. She almost feels like a celluloid doll. And she's got her eyes do close and open. And she's got the uh, kind of a burlap -y dress with the fake veggies in, in, in her. So I, I'm going to put her up for about $20, $25 just to see what happens. But I only paid a quarter. <coughs> sorry, sorry, I got a tickle here. Okay, I'm going to show this, and uh, it, it, it's trivia time. I'm, I, I'm going to go on to some other things. I want you guys to guess and tell me what this was or what it was used for, okay? And I don't want you to really see the name too much, so. Okay, so I'll, I will come back to that, so let me know. Um, <coughs> while we were in uh, California with Jason Stace, <coughs> excuse me, Jason and Stacy took us to the Magic Castle. That was one beautiful, wonderful evening. Um, I had such a good time, and so did Dad. And if you ever get a chance to get invited to go with someone because you have to go with a member, I highly recommend it. But while we were there, they did have a, uh, a gift section, and they had this uh, tiki mug that they just had uh, painted gold, but it was uh, done for their Halloween uh, this year, Halloween week 2019 Cursed Temple. That's the writing on the back. So as you can see, it's, it was glass inside, and it was just a gold paint one. But we bought enough to. I'm going to try and sell one. None are listed, Jason. What do you What do you think we should list these for, honey? Yeah, say you'd be the first to list one. So there is no uh, right. right. There's nothing yeah. to buy. Try Try it at 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Okay, there you go. And I forget what we paid. We bought four of them for how much? I forget. Uh, I think they were. Uh, I don't remember now. I don't either. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Um, did anybody? Oh, Nancy Wilson. Yes, Paul. Yes, 45 rec. Angela. Good, you guys. Good job. Yes. Yes. I picked this up for a buck. This is an early one, guys. It, this whole 45. Anybody know what a 45 record is? <laughs> this is called the Lyric Junior. And I picked this up for what did I say? Two bucks? Two bucks, I believe. And uh, this lot probably a uh, list for around $25, everybody. So I still, have, I still have a couple that I use because of all of our, you know, Hawaiian record albums. So I have that. Okay. All right. I'm not even going to say what this is. Everybody should know by now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, gang. What Amish, is it? Amish country. That's what that is. Yeah, almost. Because out in Ashtabula County, uh, not too far from where I live, there are a number of these still around. This is a covered bridge. This is a paint by number, everyone. Uh, I did pay two bucks for it, Jason. This was at our new Goodwill here in Chardon, um, and it was half price day on green tags. So it was for us. I bought it for two, and uh, this one, this one will go for around twenty twenty five dollars, everybody. So paint by number always sells, always, always, always. Okay, pick this up at our Goodwill. I couldn't pass this one up, Jason. This is a two X uh, nurses scrub, but it's the Cheshire Cat from uh, Allison. Oh, cool. And it's in gorgeous condition. So I'm gonna I'm gonna up this one. I'm probably put between twenty and twenty-two dollars on this one because it's uh you know the size and 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 in good condition and being Disney. So you know that one should be give me a good combo. Stacy thinks she's funny. She said black velvet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, the old Nick and Nora. Here we go. Now, as I as I talked on the um on the cruise. The hottest thing going right now, everybody, is leopard. It is everywhere for, in ladies' fashion. I mean everywhere. So if you have anything leopard, get it up and get it listed now. I did pay four bucks for this. Uh, it is the one-piece um, 
uh, Nick and Nora with the uh, little cat feet there. So I'm going to get that up right away, Jason. I'm probably going to put 25 bucks on this one. And staying with the uh, leopard theme, because like I was saying, it's hot, you guys. I'm not kidding. Probably see too much of it. Uh, these are by Betsy Johnson, Jace. See the tag there, everyone? Oh, nice. Yeah, the, we got, these look kind of brand new. I mean, I hardly think, I don't even know if they were worn, but uh, they, they're accented with her little pink hearts in the front and just, just a pajama, just a pajama bottom. So I would probably list this around between 15 and 20 bucks. And this was half price day. I paid 275 Okay. All right. If you have your uh, ugly Christmas sweaters, get them up and rolling. Um, I've had this one for quite a while and I, I uh, will get it listed uh, actually tonight since we're done, you guys. This is an older one by Designer Original Studio, size medium. It has one little flaw that I'm going to have to fix right here. See it, Jason, the string? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I got mom's got to work on that tonight. But it's an overall good one, and I'll probably put this up for around uh, 25 bucks. Then I originally paid it out for. I remember this one at a large sale. So Le Leslie Carroll said she just sold her paint by number four seasons pictures. Oh. For 125 bucks. Good, good. Because I think mom had a really good return on my four seasons back when I had mine. So good for you. That's and, appar good. and apparently Heather's wearing all of her animal prints right now. Yep, yep. So yeah, get it, get them up, guys. They're they're hot, hot, hot. This is a picture of uh, Venice Beach. It just I just think it's a really cool picture, Jason. We got this at the Goodwill. Can you see that, honey? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's night night surfing, I guess, because there's a big old moon. And this was only two bucks, but um, it's quite good and attractive picture. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this shit or not, Jason. I might hang it. Cool. It's pretty good because you know you never see them at night. You know what I mean? But if I was to list it, I'd probably put this up for around 30, 35 bucks. Okay. And then also at our Goodwill, it's nice to have this big new Goodwill in our backyard. You know, Mom's really enjoying this. Okay, everybody, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> How many of us had these back in the day? Can you see the drawer? Ooh, I don't want them to fall out. I think, I think they're connected. Anyway, there you are. This is a cassette holder. <clears throat> and they were marked four bucks, but they were green tags, so they were two bucks. There were four. I bought them all. And these are these are selling between $25 and $30, everybody. So I will list them singly, but four available because you know, if someone has a bunch of cassettes and they want a bunch of storage. Uh, uh, containers, you know, they, they might take off for. So, uh, it's a really, they're re they were in great condition, Jason. I mean, really nice condition. Very cool. Yeah. So, there's that. And, you know, I can't remember. Did I show this on the last show? I don't remember. I can't either. I, I said, gosh, did we talk about it or did I show it? Anyways, real quick, guys, it is Nick and Nora again, but it's the, um, you can see the label there. There we go. It is the uh, the champagne uh, bottles uh, celebrating like New Year's Eve, so I have to get these up right away too because they'll be for holiday. Okay, and okay, that's over there. All right, let's go to this. Oh, one more time. Let's, let's see. Since we're talking about Nick and Nora, I found these. These are in really nice condition. Uh, I paid uh, four. No, no, no. These were two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, and this is the owl set of Nick and Nora. Everyone. Really cute. This is a size medium. So you and paid two, two and a quarter, and a quarter. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So yes, yeah, so I'll be getting those up for around the, again. When you have the two pieces that match, definitely try and get more money because you know they 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 will spend it and probably twenty five bucks or so. You know for the two piece around there. Okay, and this was half price. So this cost mom six dollars. And the only reason I spent that much. On, on the Tommy, it's not, and it's not a bad price, but it's brand new with tag. Yeah, not um, this Tommy Bahama. So here's this tag going right here, you guys. And um, it, it is a beautiful shirt, actually. Dad really liked it. I don't know, might not get out of the house, but I'll probably put this up for around 35 40 bucks because it is new with tag. And don't forget, Tommy Bahamas, when you buy them full retail in the Tommy Bahama stores, it's 120 bucks for their silk shirts, everyone. So you know, don't be afraid to, to, to put them up there on, on price. Okay, then I picked this up there out by you guys, Jason. I never, I would never see that here in Ohio. But this was when Bette Midler was, you know, performing in Vegas, and uh, I paid three dollars and twenty five, three twenty five, for this. Uh, Sabrina wants to know if they still make Nick and Nora peaches. I don't know. Do they? I would assume so. I, I would assume so too, because don't they sell them at the Walmart or Target? 
Well, Target, but I, I heard they don't sell them anymore. Target. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to do some digging. Um, yeah. The one thing nice about this, um, it does have the Bette Midler tag, and it's a 2X. Oops, on the T-shirt. Sorry, guys. There. And uh, so, yeah, I'll probably put this up for 20 bucks. This is really nice. A bet. Oh, and then I picked up another scrub, Jason, only because, again, it was in this beautiful condition, and it's Oscar the Grouch. Nice. And, yes, I mean, these are, like, brand new, you guys, and this one cost me $2. Okay? So I will put that up for 20 bucks. Hmm. Well. And this I thought was pretty cool. This is Marvel shirt, you know, the, one of the reverse deals. Because there it is with the real oh, wow, yeah. inside, but this is the outside of the shirt. So I have to, I'm going to have to, let's see, I see the Hulk in there. Who else do I see? Yeah, who else do you see? Oh, I see Spidey. All the ones that I, I kind of know. Yeah, who else? <laughs> Captain America, because I see his shield. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't I, know. I see, two, I see two others for sure. I know who? Well, you tell me. I don't know. Uh, I you watch, you watch the movies. Yeah, I know, but I'm not that good on the, on the, on the, on the oh, wait a minute, is that? Is Thor the one with the hammer and the and the yeah yep. head? Okay, so I see that. And then one more. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, was that Iron Man down there? Very good. Good job. Oh. Huh? See, I did too. I did pretty good. So yeah, you know. guys, and this is a size. What size? Extra large. So that's good. And I'll uh, probably put this up for oh, what do you think? Jay's twenty five, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I would research it because I've never seen a reverse print. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's why mom picked it up because I thought that was different. And my last one, I got a little excited because I, I, I this is only the second time that I've seen this shirt. I did pay eight dollars for it. It is a Robert Graham. Um, I know you've heard Jason talk about Robert Graham before, everybody. There's the inside. But one of the uh, main key things to look at it for a Robert Graham shirt are the cuffs because that's. That's what makes them so different, right, Chase? Yep. Yeah, and 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 when 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 men, men wear these, Jason, I assume they wear the cuff rolled back, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, to to show it off. So this is just you know just striped, but I don't know, Jason. I'm going to try and list it for around 40, 50 bucks and see what happens. It's a long sleeve shirt, size large. Um, you know, it's just just striped, but I I, I was so excited that I found. I couldn't pass it up. I saw some this summer out at the Hartfield flea market, but he wanted fifty dollars a shirt. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. I, I said okay, and he had some gorgeous ones, Jason. He had about eight of them hanging on his rack, and I was drooling, but there was no way I was going to pay that kind of money. And I think that's it, everybody. Yeah. And, they oh, and I wanted to send oh. a big uh, shout out to uh, to oh. Nadine. Thanks for doing the uh, cruise artwork. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. These came out so adorable. Awesome. Awesome. So, so you know, I know like we're not doing one next year, but gosh, you guys, save up. Because in two years, we are, we are going on Royal Caribbean, by the way. It will be our next one. And uh, they're going to see a ship that they they just can't imagine is yep. out there floating because I've been on it and it is gorgeous. We hope to go on this one. Or maybe there will even be a bigger and better one. Who knows? But we would love to have you uh, join us uh, on the next one. So much fun. So much fun to be together. Yep, absolutely. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Give us a thumbs up down below. If you've not subscribed before, make sure to subscribe and click on the, the bell. The bell lets you know when we're going live. And mm -hmm. uh, those of you in the Secret Beach, your webinar with Stacy is this coming Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then for everybody else, the thrifting board, uh, thrifty business is Thursday night. Debbie's going to be my co-host. We're going to have the Platinum Shine Award winner from eBay Open this year. Nice. And then webinar for everyone who signs up in a week from Tuesday. Uh, so stay tuned for the sign up should be up tomorrow, probably. So stay Wonderful. tuned for that. And, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going off to watch my teenage assistant play in her band tonight. So oh, I'm going to go good. Good support good. a young band. Cool. <laughs> Enjoy. Have a good evening. You know, honey. Hi, everybody. For Bye. Sean, past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50. I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Bye-bye. We're gone. We're gone. Bye. Have a good one.